welcome to the Ibiza vlogs. <laughs> You've got to be buzzing for it. So, this is the Ibiza vlog. However, I did not intro it, so I'm coming at you a few days in. There's been a lot of G&Ts since I landed, and today I am not feeling well. So yeah, we're, we're getting by. We are getting by. I wanted to intro this vlog because I basically started filming for it at like five in the morning on Monday, and I literally didn't know my ass from my elbow, so I'm really not sure what that footage is looking like, if there is any at all. But yeah, landed in Ibiza at like, what time was it? Like half 12 had to come to our hotel get ready for ryan's show which was that like afternoon evening so ryan actually came out on sunday day before me um at a ridiculous time in the morning it's been like the whole i would say kind of like two weeks running up to this has been a real juggle for us work wise but it just like carried on going into this trip i'm hoping the next ibiza trip will be a bit more chill and we'll get a lot more time to kind of like create content and all of that this one has really been quite like non-stop but anyway i didn't fly out with ryan because it was father's day and i had daughter duties to be on so yeah i flew out on my own monday morning i hadn't flown on my own in such a long time i was a bit nervous but it was all good Re it went really really smoothly and i was really happy with it but that is where we are at i'm gonna let the footage run and i'll catch up with you in a little bit i'll be down by the pool i'm really excited for that so yeah welcome to the ibiza vlog let's get into it you guys it is it is hot oh look we match look at us perfect <laughs> we didn't plan this but we're just rolling with it i look like ibiza barbie this is outfit number one of the ibiza outfits and i am already sweating and this outfit is basically non-existent as well so you can imagine how warm it is i'm wearing my ysl sunnies which i got from amazon if you watched the last video you will have seen i love them they're so fun wearing asos hoop earrings monica vinida hull and like gold necklace it's really really sweet and then i've got this hunza g dress on which given the fact that i have literally i'm gonna just change the lighting hold on one second because it's killing me given the fact that i have literally just got off a plane and every part of me is so swollen and so bloated i'm fully like holding everything in right now i have to thank whoever gave us this room because the lighting is actually very forgiving but yeah just know the bloat is real but i love this dress so there was no way i wasn't wearing it so yeah love that and then i've got a minimalist boutique charm bracelet on fendi sliders there we go. I literally wore them through the airport and I have to vouch for the fact that they're very comfortable. And then the Ibiza Barbie bag as well, which I love. Good morning everybody, this is my little outfit of the day for breakfast if you can't hear. I'm very hungover right now. We have got my little blue cornflower blue ASOS bikini on, my, I think these are ASOS trousers. Remember to take them up, they're perfect, very happy with them. I've got the matching shirt on which is just slung over my shoulders at the moment because this room has terrible aircon. My little YSL raffia bag. Prada Sunnies, ASOS hoop earrings. Yeah, I think that is it. That is my outfit of the day. Going for breakfast now. Let's pray it fixes me. So we are on our way for brekkie. There's this little pathway that basically runs right the way from our hotel all the way around this little bay and down to Skinny Kitchen, which is one of my favorite places to eat. So we're gonna take you along. The views on this walk are my favorite thing. So nice. Great view. Love it. Yeah. So hungry. Give me food. Guys, pause to read the menu. Oh my god, you guys, this is unreal. Iced mocha shake. I'm obsessed. This is my new favorite. Ryan's came with cream on the top, so now he's sad. 
I feel like if I leave the straw in, I don't mix it. <laughs> it's very windy. I don't know if you can hear me. But I ordered the acai bowl and I really wish I got the avocado toast. Just now I already regret my choice and it's not there. So we are now on our way to Ibiza Rocks. Craig David literally wanted to do this for about five years. Uh, I'm very excited and it is so hot guys. Like it is, the air around me is hot. Not just like the sun, the everything. The atmosphere is hot, is a lot. So that's why I'm walking the streets in a bikini top and trousers. Yeah, excited to see Craig. Haven't seen him since, what was that? Isle of Wight Festival that they don't do anymore. Isle of Wight Festival? Is that what's called? <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, the one where I wore glitter on my face and little space buns, it was really fun. Update, I think it was festival. We've remembered. We remembered. There you go. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Ryan remembered. We just needed to clarify what we were talking about. And that was also the festival where we were staying in the same hotel with Sean Paul and everyone who stayed up stayed up late went out with him. And uh, I was in bed. Everybody, Ryan is just adjusting his uh, his man bag. <laughs> He's like, "Is it weird if I wear it like this?" And I was like, eh. "So that's a yes." That's how it's meant to be worn. Yeah, no, but not actually wears it. Like <laughs> no. What, what am I saying? Today is Wednesday. The past couple of days are really taking their toll on me. We're going out for some coffee and breakfast. Like the coffees at Skinny Kitchen are so good. Ryan had this pistachio latte yesterday. So good. Oh my god, it was unreal. So we're gonna go and get coffees and then maybe get some breakfast as well. It was meant to be like cold and cloudy today when I checked the weather yesterday. We've woken up and it's like blaring sunshine and the weather forecast has changed. So I don't really know what to wear because it's just gonna be so hot. Like it is very warm here. Although I would say slightly less humid today than the past couple of days because it's actually been like outrageously humid for like the past two days. But I'm just wearing a black bikini top. I've got these like parachute, what do we call these? Parachute pants? I don't know. These trousers. Say, what? I was gonna say, I hope you're not asking me. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not asking you. I've got these trousers on, like these baggy trousers. I really like them. I wore them when we were in Greece and yeah, I just found them really comfy. Will I fry in them? Maybe, but I just really wanted to wear trousers this morning and I actually have limited options because I packed so efficiently and I actually have decided I don't like packing efficiently. I want like two weeks worth of outfits for a four day trip. I've learned my lesson. So if you see me on the next trip with two suitcases, that is why. I've got my Chanel sliders on because they are the ones that are giving me slightly less blisters. I've still got a plaster on because I've got a blister from these, but the blister that I got from these from where I walked for like a mile in them is worse. So Chanel slide as it is. YSL bag, YSL sunnies as well. I'm really enjoying these ones. They are very cute. A little bit more girly than my Prada ones. So yeah, I think with an outfit like this, they help to really balance it out. And then the Monica Vinida necklace that I have on, I have just been really obsessed with. I haven't worn it really at all in the UK, but it's all I've worn since I've been here. It's like the perfect like Ibiza style jewelry or any holiday jewelry. Same for the ASOS hoop earrings, really obsessed with them, but I was obsessed with them when I was home. Apple watch on because I want to track my walk down to breakfast. It's about half, it's half an hour, 20 minutes from where we are. Skin kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So I've decided that this is going to be my scent of the summer, or at least my scent of Ibiza. It's Love, Don't Be Shy by by Killian. And I love this. It is like the softest, most vanillariest, powderiest, summeriest scent there ever was it is absolutely beautiful and the bottle is just gorgeous as well and they're really good because they're like 50 ml so really good for taking in your like liquids bag on a plane i actually haven't had the chance to show you excuse our balcony because i rearranged it for tiktoks but this is where we're staying it's very cute it's an okay hotel we you can really 
be hit or miss with the rooms. We've stayed here before and we loved the room that we were in. It was on the ground floor, so very cool. And because of that, we didn't really have like any issues with the fact that the aircon doesn't like pump out at full force, but we're on like the third floor here and the aircon is not pumping and it's very hot and humid. And the past couple of days, we've really been struggling, but um, it is a really cute hotel. It's really fun. I'll show you like the outside because I don't think I've shown you yet. Yeah, because I realized the last time I was here, I was here with Ryan and we were very early on dating and I hadn't like really told you guys yet. So I didn't vlog the trips that we did this our first summer together because I wasn't ready to explain who I was with or why. So I didn't actually vlog the last time we were here, but we did stay the last time we came. So yeah, don't necessarily take it as like a top recommendation for me because I don't know if it's worth it in terms of like value for money. But if you want a really cute vibey hotel, this is one of the best ones in Ibiza. This and Paradiso, very good. Romeo's also looks really nice. Grand Paradiso also looks very Instagrammy. All that kind of vibe. Are you ready for breakfast? Always ready. Always ready. So this is the outside of the hotel. As you can see, all the Instagram vibes. Little tip, I like to take Instagram pics in this little cubby hole over here. Uh, late afternoon, it's a nice light. So we went to Skinny Kitchen, but they actually weren't serving breakfast. So we've come to this place, really random, just like five minutes away. And look at this avocado toast. It looks so good. Brand's got the same. I'm very excited to eat this. Are you gonna demonetize me if I vlog with this song in the background? Yeah. Damn. This is when Ryan takes a whole vlog's worth of AdSense money. Pool time, I've got another little SLA number on. I love the little like skirt that comes with this set. It's so cute. YSL signs, all of the accessories are the same. I've got my Fendi sliders, switching up the shoes because I have the blisters from hell right now. So, uh, loving life. And then I've got my YSL bag and some Lays. So yeah, see you in a bit, hopefully after I've had a nap and I'm in a much better mood. Also taking this sun cream down to the pool. I love this sun cream. <laughs> did you just product placement that bottle? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And uh, yes, we did bring baby shrimpy with us. This now comes everywhere with us and we just like hide it and make each other laugh with it. Anyway, yeah, taking my sun cream as well. Let's go. So this is tonight's outfit. I've got a PLT top on this is like one of my go-to tops in life it's so easy to like throw on trousers are from zara i've got a little belly chain on with them but the trousers come up higher than the belly chain so i'm just kind of like wearing it as a belt you know um and then i've got my fendi sliders on i've got my ysl sunnies and then a little pink jacquemus bag because abitha rocks is very fun so i feel like it deserves a little pink bag and I wore the YSL one yesterday. So that is what I'm wearing. We've booked dinner as well. Looking forward to potentially having some pasta. You weren't sure if it actually booked, but gonna see where we end up. You should be all good. You look nice. Where is your outfit from? Uh, this is ASOS from about five years ago. This is ASOS and these are from size. You gotta do the little Air Force Ones from size. And your man back? Probably ASOS about five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't bought clothes in five years. We are just doing our little walk to Ibiza Rocks. There's this is one long street, basically takes us most of the way there. And uh, it's interesting doing it in the heat. But um, it's much nicer today than it was on Monday. Monday was like Costa Rica level. Don't mind that. Monday was like Costa Rica level humidity, which is why I've got all of these blisters on my feet, basically because actually it's not been so bad the past two days, but there's a cut on my foot that's currently really doing me dirty. Sad times. I'm basically hobbling. <laughs> also, side note, this hotel is one that we have stayed in before, Hotel Abra. We're actually staying there again this season. And I'm looking forward to it because it's literally right on the beach. Delish. And right next to Golden Buddha. Love it. And really near that cute ice cream place, which hopefully, we will stop by whilst we're here because I think they do some dairy free ones and I'm very excited about that. So 
so this is where we are going for dinner cutest little Italian place and it has apparently good vegan options we have come out for dinner without the rest of the boys they very kindly were like it was real like Casa Amor vibes on Love Island and they were like no guys you need to go on your date very cute <laughs> we've come to this place and it actually has a little vegan section and I'm surprised because I thought we were going to need to be a little bit like lenient here with our dietary requirements but actually there's a whole vegan section there's a really good dish over here it looks really yummy so yeah this is where we're having dinner um, it's like in the middle of San Antonio looks really good so yeah this is our yeah, 100% Brian really fancied some pasta tonight and I just found this place on Google and it looks amazing also I'm really sorry because I know my voice sounds like I'm drunk and if that sounds that way it's because why. it's because I am <laughs> We just bought, I just bought like six of the boys in here and I was like, can you put a table of six? I knew, as soon as we walked in, we could tell straight away. Like, they were like, no, we're just no, not paying the table it's of six. It's not the stag things. No. <laughs> I was trying to be really nice. It's like, can you accommodate the rest of the boys? Yeah, I am so excited to eat this pasta because Ibiza rocks were very good to us and they gave us a lot of GNT. So, this is looking good. The children's menu also looks really good. And the extras. Is it not the same as adults when you get smaller? Basically, it's spaghetti bolognese. Would highly recommend this restaurant. They actually have the differentiation between vegetarian and vegan, and I rate that so hard. Now, this, this is a GT. You thought that was going to overflow, didn't you? <laughs> he has faith in me. So Ryan is ordering this dish, and I am ordering this dish. Pronounce it. No, I'm, there's no way I'm pronouncing it. Absolutely not, no way. And then I'm saving this as like a backup for if we come again, because I feel like that can't go wrong. Also, Loki, obviously not vegan, but this dish sounds so good. How is the bread and olives? Yeah? There's, oh, obviously, the bread, the bread and Oliver. Where did you pour it? Stop. <laughs> I put the bread here. Ooh. Is it good? Or you can just pour it on a plate. Thank you. Love you. Cheers. You guys, look at this. Ryan's got like beetroot ravioli, it looks incredible. Ooh! So good. Oh my god, this looks amazing. My heart is so happy right now. Ryan's making me vlog the limoncello. That's probably really bad. I haven't had one of these since in the pros and do. Cheers, honey. Fun fact, in the pro loves the limoncello. My mum's just sent Ryan a message about what Nala's been up to. Look at him. <laughs> literally chugging back water and uh, this is my outfit because 
We are going in search of carbs. <laughs> We're going in search of carbs, aren't we? Carbs, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, from the top, wire our sunglasses, SLA bikini. Mm, where is this from? I think it's ASOS trousers, but they might be River Island, but I'm not sure, but I'll link them. And um, then my Fendi slides, and then I'm going to take my little pink bag as well. Very pink today. Buying some little... <laughs> what are these called? Bracelets and anklets. What Aren't do you they? call them? Like a keepsake? Uh, oh, right. What's souvenir. The... A little souvenir. <laughs> They're so cute. Ryan needs to get one. I don't know which one I would get. <laughs> I think you'd get really good with like this one. Well, that's the diamond one. To be fair, maybe I should get that one and not the pink. I love pink. Clearly. Pink goes with your fit. Very true. Yeah. We're gonna have a little collection of bracelets. Yeah. Souvenir bracelets. <laughs> I didn't know you Also, I really want to go to this Pilates place. Yeah. Can anybody like tell me if it's good? I won't go if it's not, obviously. It looks cute. So we have come to this place, I don't know if you can hear me because it is so windy, we've come to this place called Kick Ibiza. The menu is good. This is the menu. I'm having avo toast with some salmon, I'm really cheating. Brian is having the vegan breakfast. They also do a salmon and cream cheese bagel which I would actually kill for right now. Taste test. Just doing my classic. I told him I didn't want anything from the shop and now I'm stealing his food maneuver. Thanks, honey. three in the morning very tired had a call this morning went and stocked the fridge up and now i am off to get my nails done because they are at the end of their life and i'm very sad about it this is my little outfit of the day so i've got a black skirt on which is uh quite an old one from zara which i love real staple in my wardrobe and then i've also got a little tank top on which i believe is also from zara i have similar ones from Topshop. you can get them everywhere i've got a little grey sweater on which i believe is also from zara ysl sunnies dior saddlebag and then my Vega trainers just keeping it really nice and simple today and then i've got my asos hoop earrings in and that is it just keeping it really simple 
overdue a hair wash so we've got a slick back ponytail today and that is the vibe so i'm gonna go get my nails done and then i will catch up with you either this evening or tomorrow and kind of like debrief after i breathe I'm home, I have the shrimp, I have dinner, Ryan cooked dinner. Look at how good this is. It's like an aubergine pasta. I'll put the recipe in the info box. So good. Debrief. I was gonna do this looking all cute, but I just decided to look like this today because I can't really be bothered I don't have the mental capacity for makeup today. But anyway, I feel like we need to catch up because this was the first Ibiza trip of the summer for Ryan's work. This one ended up being like very, what's the word? Worky, which is really fun. We had a really good time. But yeah, it was very go, go, go. And I didn't really feel like I actually got to chat to you guys too much. Not as much as I would have liked. I think the next trip will be a little bit more chilled it's just kind of like a bit of work and then more for us and i think i'll get a chance to really check in with you a lot more whereas this one it was kind of focused on like lots of socializing and things like that and there were lots of like people around at all times and some of them i just really couldn't like vlog around so it was just one of those things where i didn't really get to check in very much we actually spent a lot more time than we planned at the venue where ryan plays at so i was also quite like conscious that i fringe like not looking cute right now well, I was also quite conscious that it wasn't making for the most interesting viewing experience for you guys in terms of actually seeing what I'd be through is like and that was a bit sad because that I really like to kind of when I travel at least like give some recommendations and there were obviously I had a few places that I ate at that I did really like as you will have seen we went to Casbah which was one of your recommendations that you've given me on Instagram if you haven't seen I have like a little spreadsheet that I put together of everyone's recommendations and whether they're like vegan or not and I think there needs to be a whole actual section not in the notes for addresses because that was something that I was finding that I needed when I was using my own spreadsheet. So I will update that. And we also have some new Ibiza food finds that I want to add to the spreadsheet anyway. So it needs a full update and a repost and I will do that. There was the pasta place that we went to, which was incredible, such a good find. I loved it so much. And then that random little kind of like cafe restaurant place that we went to, which did the avocado toast and that avocado toast was probably the best avocado toast I've ever had in my life. And I've eaten a lot of that recently and that was the best one, so I will 100% be going back there. I don't even know if Avo Toast was on the menu, but we asked for it, they gave it to us. It was delicious. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Look who showed up. Hi vlog. <laughs> I was just catching them up on Ibiza, saying that we didn't get to go to as many places. As... Which moved into Ibiza rocks, basically. Yeah, basically. We kind of said we'd like to rent a car yeah. next time go to more places just because there were so many good recommendations on the spreadsheet that i kind of felt like they were a bit far out for us and actually if we'd have had a car we would have just been able to like nip there not have to worry about waiting for a taxi or anything like that and there was also the issue of the fact that thursday was basically our day for like complete free time doing stuff and i was literally hanging out my backside so nothing happened like there's not a lot of vlog footage from thursday and it's because genuinely it's we we laid down and ate beige food for a full 12 hours also i tried to book this this place called color grassetonia it's so cute i think i'm probably gonna have butchered that i'm gonna put it on screen it's probably not how you say it i'm just saying it out of like my head but i tried to book this place or i did book it and they cancelled on us so if anyone's wondering why we stayed in san antonio and we didn't go there that's why i really wanted to go there i was so looking forward to it hopefully we'll get to on the next trip but yeah i was really sad because that was so close to our hotel and i was so looking forward to going but anyway i'm not gonna lie i have real anxiety over the fact that we didn't really get the classic 
well-rounded, wholesome Ibiza experience that I would have loved to have shown you guys. But when you're there for work, you just kind of have to go with what you need to do. It makes it sound like I was there for work. I was not. I was just there living life enjoying the gnts so yeah i vowed next trip i'm not going to drink as much and it's going to be a nice wholesome <laughs> ibiza experience we're going to go to old town probably do a bit in the north go to lots of lovely restaurants there are meant to be some amazing vegan recommendations that are on my spreadsheet that i have and i'm dying to go to them so really excited to do all of those things on the next trip i just feel like the first vlog hasn't really set the, the best tone and I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, that is my little Ibiza recap. Really looking forward to round two, especially like renting a car and just seeing more of the island because I haven't really done that in a good few years. But yeah, I'm basically done unpacking now. I'm done recovering. My body's batteries are recharging. My mental battery is recharging, which is great because I have quite a full week this week, which I'm really excited for. Oh, also part of the debrief in terms of outfits, because we did go to ibiza rocks which is like daytime party vibes so it's quite an awkward one to dress for especially in the like the heat and it was so so hot some of the days i actually didn't end up wearing as much as i thought i would of the real outfits that i took and i did end up wearing like bikini top and trousers a lot more because of those kind of like daytime pool party vibes i didn't end up wearing the sparkly sequin shirt dress but i'm excited to hopefully wear that next time if i don't wear it next time i'll definitely wear it in september because it will be cooler then so that will be ideal but yeah there was a lot of like trousers and bikini kind of vibes so i will definitely tweak that when i pack for next time but i think the outfits i have planned for next time are a little bit more daytime pool party vibes anyway so i think we're going to be all good and anything that i didn't wear on this trip i will hopefully get to wear on the next one or the one after as well and just throughout the summer in general but yeah a little bit sad that i didn't get to wear the sequin shirt dress this time because i was really looking forward to wearing that but the purple hunza g dress oh my god i loved wearing it so much i've never felt so good in a dress and i was like like i think i said at the start of the vlog i was so like bloaty just come off a flight wasn't feeling great and it still made me feel really good so I love that dress, would highly recommend if you have the money to spend on it. I think my Farfetch discount code might still work, but oh my God, loved it so much. And the pink purple vibes, I really liked, it was so cute. But yeah, I think that is it for my Ibiza debrief. I think that's all I wanted to say. And just obviously apologies if it did feel a bit sporadic. Hopefully it won't by the time you've seen this and it's all edited and like polished and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna do my best to produce a much better vlog for you next time. So I'm excited for round two. I'm gonna go and eat my granola because I am well aware I look like one of those people that makes food on camera and doesn't eat it. And I do want to eat it. I just don't like eating it in front of people. So yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you guys in my next video, which I think will be on Thursday. And then just side note, I don't know if we'll be doing a Monday and a Thursday throughout the rest of July. I'm going to TBC it because I am a little bit all over the place this month and there's going to be like work that's starting on the house soon so i need to kind of make sure everything is prepped for that and just got a lot of like various different work projects going on which i will tell you about in the next vlog but yeah just to kind of update you things might just be a little bit here and there over the next kind of month or so and i just want to take a little week off as well hopefully if i if i get the chance but anyway i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye